Hey, how's it going everyone? So what I wanted to do today is just give you a demonstration on removing a drive shaft. So I have a uh, 2019 Grand Cherokee four wheel drive. And what I have going on is I have a leaking front U joint. So this particular Jeep has special orbital joints. And if you can see right here, there's a nice trail of grease that goes up all the way around the floor and even on the transfer case and the transmission itself and that is due to this orbital joint having a failed boot and that is now sent grease out and it's causing the joint to fail now this is an independent front suspension design vehicle so this orbital joint is just to take up the slack of the motor vibrating and the front axle vibrating because they're mounted on separate planes so it's not like a conventional drive shaft in that manner so what we'll do is we'll get it on the bench and uh, show you how it looks. Okay, so we got our old front drive shaft out comparing to our new one. Now these orbital joints are designed to run really smooth and really quiet. They can be on uh, vehicle suspensions that do go up and down, but in this particular application, it's for um, a fixed front axle and a fixed engine and trans. Now fixed being relative to the mounts having a little bit of play, so that's why you do have these. Now this particular one, it is vibrating and causing all the grease to come out. And it shouldn't be able to move like that compared to the new one. The new one is nice and tight. We also have the indexing mark from the factory still in place. The old one does as well, but it shouldn't be able to go in and out like this. Like this one is all, this one's nice and tight and set. Uh, they do come with new bolts. Anytime you do replace one of these drive shafts, you wanna make sure you put Loctite on the bolts. The factory one comes with new hardware in both ends. So that's not necessarily the case. Um, this is kind of a new type of drive shaft that you're gonna see on more modern street cars. And there are different types of drive shafts out there though, which I'll show you right now. This is a more conventional style drive shaft out of this truck. So we have a T case output coming down through a drive shaft. This is a two piece with a unit bearing going down to the rear axle assembly. And this has conventional U joints with strap bolts. Now these uh, strap bolts, once they're used, they're supposed to be replaced every time. At a minimum, replace the uh, lock washer and put a little bit of Loctite on them. I like to mark their location to make sure that they don't go anywhere. But this is a single U-joint with the four pivots on it. You can have a double Cardian like this one to where you have the two individual U-joints and then you have a spherical ball in the middle. This joint uh, increases the amount of working angle that the drive shaft can operate at to where a single U-joint um, can't operate at that great of an angle. Now, if you run a, a design like this that doesn't have a slip yoke at the output, you do have to have some sort of plunging method, and that's what this section is right here in the middle, is this is for the ability for the drive shaft to go up and down as the suspension cycles up through its travel. So, so we'll get the uh, drive shaft in the Grand Cherokee and wrap that one up and make sure it's not vibrating. I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. We'll see you in the next one.